Welcome. I'm going to talk about average speed. Average speed in this video. So let, let's think of this example. Suppose that I have a certain let's say let's say I have a ball and this ball is rolling along on the ground and and suppose that uh, at at this at a certain time um let me actually let me draw let me draw the floor okay let's say it starts from it starts from here and and it rolls until here and Let's say that, that the total distance is forty meters and, and that that it it took uh it's rolling quite fast, it, it took ten seconds just just to roll over this distance. But suppose that um the ground is uh there's some there's some ups and downs and maybe some friction along the ground and I'm pushing pushing it uh uh, a bit faster sometimes, and and a bit, uh, and it slows down a bit at other times. So, so suppose that at this time, it uh, is going at say uh, three meters per second, and a bit later, a bit later, I push it a bit faster, and and it's going at five meters per second, and then there's some friction which slows it down. And it slows down. It uh, slows down at one point, all the way down to as slow as one meter per second. And, and then I decide to kick it faster, and, and now goes at uh, seven meters per second for for a short long. And, and then uh, and then it reaches the end point. All right, but over the forty meters, I used my. Uh, Say my my stopwatch and and check that the total time taken is ten seconds. So if it's going faster and slower so irregularly, what is the speed? And to find the speed, we use the idea of average speed. Now, ab the, this is how average speed is defined. It's defined as the total distance. Traveled, total distance traveled, divided by the time taken. So once we, once we know this, it's quite simple. That's the total distance traveled, and that's the time taken. So therefore, in this example, my average, my average speed is just forty divided by ten. Forty over ten, which is four meters per second and that's my average speed now that we understand average speed now that we un understand average speed let's let's come back to look at come back to look at these these um various post different speeds when when it is uh, uh, along the way, all right, when it's halfway through, or some way through the motion. If you know, if if this number is called the average speed, what do we call those other numbers? I mean, there there are clearly most, if not all, almost all, different from the four meters per second. In in fact, we would guess that. Maybe at some point it might be four meters per second, like between three and five, somewhere, sometime in between, between five and one, sometime here or sometime here, it might be four meters per second over a very short time, or maybe just you know over some instant in time. Okay, but most of the time it's not four meters per, per second. All right, so so what do we call all these other possible speeds? There is a name. There is a name, indeed, and it is called the instantaneous instantaneous speed so instantaneous speed um, 
Well, the, the, the word instantaneous, the word instantaneous is kind of like an adjective for the uh, well, instant. Instant is an adjective as well. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so anyway, instantaneous speed is the speed at a certain instant in time, like for example, at this particular point in time. At this particular point in time, the speed might be 5 meters per second, but shortly before that or soon up very soon after that it might have changed to a different value but at this particular instant the speed is five meters per second so that's what each of this speed is called at, at that particular point in time so instantaneous speed just mean the speed at a particular particular instant so uh, an instant just means a uh, a point means a point in time right or in fact we can just say speed at a particular point in time now that that uh this idea this idea uh brings up brings up a a tricky question a tricky question now clearly, if I want to find speed, I need to take distance divided by time. Okay, distance divided by time. And that's not just for average speed. For any speed, really, including the instantaneous speed, the only way I can, or at least uh, that, that up until now, the only way we have learned about finding speed is to take distance over time. Later on, I'll talk about another way we can find it which which uh, is actually uh, a better way uh, to find instantaneous speed uh, better in, in or easier in some some sense but for now I, I'm just going to introduce this idea about how we might actually be able to measure or right, how would we measure instantaneous speed because in physics physics is about quantities is about measuring time and distances and speeds and so on so if you can't measure it if you, if you can't measure something they're not very useful in fact they might not even be very meaningful so if we can uh, measure it right then that's when it starts getting useful and, and meaningful and so on so if i'm if i'm saying that right if i'm saying that this ball at that instant is five meters per second what does it mean Right, like I said, a point in time, a point in time, uh, how long is a point in time? A point in time is is uh, very short. In fact, a point in time is, is exactly zero second. It's a bit like asking how long is a point? Uh, you know, if I make a dot here, that's a point. How long is a point? Of course, if I actually make a dot with a pen, it, is, it really has a, some, some uh, a size. If I have a very accurate ruler or if I put, it, put this under a microscope, I might find that it's like zero point one or 0 0.01 millimeter so but uh, a perfect point would actually have zero size like zero centimeters even if uh, that's hard to imagine so likewise a point in time like if i say at this instant is five meters per second it really means that at this z z this zero second time interval it is five meters per second but that but we have a problem here if if the speed is distance over time and I want to talk even if I want to talk about instantaneous speed I have to have you know if, if I want to know that find that this is or measure that this is 5 meters per second I really need to measure some distance and divide by some time so how can I measure zero time and divide by zero seconds and and, and it would have traveled zero distance in zero seconds surely so does it mean that instantaneous speed is zero meters divided by zero second? That's nonsense, right? We can't find an answer like that. So in in practice, in practice, we can only get approximate instantaneous speed. So just for example, we might imagine uh, that we have a very, uh, say, fast camera, a fast video camera in which I can video the motion, and I see that. Uh, you know, in one frame of the video, which might be uh, what, like, uh, shall I say, maybe zero, maybe in a time interval of zero point zero one second. Okay, let's say 
extremely short time this has moved a tiny amount a tiny amount of 0 0.05 meters and I, I can measure that on my using a video camera by taking video different frames of videos uh, co continually and watching it on my on my computer for example so let's say that um, I know that uh, between two frames is 0 0.01 seconds and, and, and I measure that and I saw that on my computer screen this ball has moved by 0 0.05 meters which I can magnify on the computer and, and measure it with my ruler and, and work out what the scale is so okay let's say we can do that right let's say we have the technology to do that which uh, we do today maybe even with your your mobile phones so then then with this information I don't need to do my uh, uh, 0 over 0 right which which I doesn't work I can do my 0 point okay let me change to another color I can do my 0 0.05 meter over my 0 0.0 one second second which I've measured and my answer would be five meters per second so that's kind of an approximate way I can use to f actually measure this distance uh, why approximate uh, seems quite accurate well it's kind of approximate because instead of an actual point in time I actually have a, a small a small interval in time so not quite a point but if I take this time interval to be quite small I'm sort of approximately right so that's how we might measure and actually give meaning to instantaneous speed